I'm Susan Castriota. Today I'm going to share one of my quick and delish recipes. I like the convenience of using the microwave. They're not just for reheating food. You can steam, cook, and even bake food in the microwave. So come and join me in my studio kitchen for Quick and Delish by Susan. So today I'm going to do herb crusted fish fillets. Now, I like to use cod, but you can use cod or haddock. It's a nice white fish, not too thick, not too thin. And this is the frozen cod. I prefer the frozen because you can keep it in your refrigerator, your freezer, and when you're ready, you take it out 24 hours before you're going to cook, leave it in your refrigerator, and it's thawed. And before I came in the studio, I cleaned this and then I patted it dry a little bit. Now what we're going to do to make the, the crust is one fourth a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Now those have the spices already in them so you don't have to you know, add anything extra. Then we're going to do a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese already shredded. And just a little bit of salt. There you go. And just kind of mix this up. Get that all mixed up. There we go. Make a little mess here. Then one egg white right in this bowl. Okay, it's going to get kind of messy, but it's fun. So we're going to take one filet. We're going to dip it into the egg. And then we are going to coat it with the breadcrumb mixture with the cheese and oh my gosh it smells so good. Then we're going to place the fillets into a glass bowl. Now this happens to be a Pyrex bowl but I'm all about using glass in the microwave so I don't ever use plastic. So these are going to go into a glass bowl and if you have the thick fish maybe one side is thicker you want that to be on the outside of the bowl so that will cook uh, quicker. Okay, let's do the second one here in the egg white. Ooh, all right, get it in that breadcrumb mixture. Ooh, that's good. It's going to be a mess. There we go. Put this one into the bowl. Now I've got extra crumbs, so I'm going to just sprinkle that on top. There we go. Get rid of those crumbs. That's going to be your crust. Let me just wipe my hands. Oops. Are you okay with the mic? <laughs> Let me just wipe my hands here. And we're going to add some lemon. There we go. Maybe four lemon. This is just going to give you a bit of a zest to the, to the fish. Now, I'm going to add a little paprika. I'm going to do a mild paprika. And this is for flavor, but it's also, it also looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, right there. A little bit of paprika. There you go. So this is what you're going to put into the microwave. And you're going to do maybe a four to five minutes in the microwave. Now this also depends on your microwave wattage because if you have, um, this is an 1100 watt, so this is probably going to be oh, maybe a four minute. Now I'm going to cover this glass bowl with my Kachina safe lid, which is a vented glass lid. So that is going to do several things. That's going to steam your fish, and it's also going to keep your microwave nice and clean. And it's, it's vented, so some of that extra condensation is going to be able to come up through steam. So we're going to put it in the microwave. There we go. We're going to do five minutes on high. Now, if you take it out and it's not quite cooked yet, it's you know, not white and flaky, you want to just put it back into the microwave for maybe 30 seconds or a minute. So we're going to do five minutes. And we're going to start and we'll be right back. I'm back and the fish is out of the microwave. Now this is the herb crusted fish. Is that amazing? And once again this is two 
cod fillets, a fourth a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of salt, one egg white slightly beaten, and a little bit of paprika. And in the microwave for about five minutes, four to five minutes, and look what you have, absolutely beautiful fish steamed in the microwave. Now, we're gonna put this aside. Let me put this over here because we're gonna do asparagus, steamed asparagus, because it's a great uh, side dish for the fish. So this is what I like. Uh, I like a thinner asparagus. I mean, you can go with a thicker, but I, the taste of the thinner to me is better, and it cooks so nice in the microwave when you steam it. But this is how you're gonna buy it in the store, and for this show, I'm just gonna do about half of this. And typically, you would wash this, dry it, but since we're doing a cooking show, we're just gonna cut this. You're gonna cut this bottom part right here because that's the hard woody part and you definitely don't wanna eat that. So you're gonna do maybe an inch to an inch and a half that you're gonna take off of there. And then if you have any little dried spots on the top, you just wanna get rid of those too, but these actually look pretty good. So we're gonna put this on a dinner plate and add a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon. There you go, just like that. Let's go with a little bit of salt too, just a little touch of salt. Now, we're gonna cover this with my microwave plate cover. It's made out of glass and it's got the vents here. So once again, you're steaming your food, but you're gonna allow that extra condensation to come out. We're gonna microwave the asparagus. For probably the thin asparagus, it's gonna go from three to five minutes, but if you've got a thicker asparagus, you're probably gonna to go to three to seven minutes. And once again, it just depends on how you like your asparagus. So we're gonna put that into the microwave. Okay, so I'm back, and the asparagus has steamed in the microwave for about three minutes. Now this is gonna be really hot, but take a look at this, how beautiful that is. That asparagus is just done perfectly in the microwave in about three minutes. Now, this is what your finished product is gonna be. This is a wonderful meal. Look at this, you've got fish, low fat, low calorie, you have steamed asparagus with a little bit of butter and some lemon. Just take a look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful, just gorgeous. So thanks again for joining me for another quick and delish recipe. And you can go on my website, kuchinasafe.com to look at this recipe and all of my other recipes. So thank you so much and I'll see you the next time. A little fish from Quick and Delish.